I request all of you to do a fabulous job by staying along with me till the end of this video. Definitely, there will be a privilege and advantage after listening to this. So this is the most important concept. This divisibility algorithm rules the number theory. This concept is applied everywhere throughout the number theory. And most importantly, this is the base to the number theory. And now let's get started to learn what is division theorem or division algorithm. See here, the theorem is flashing on the screen. So the statement states that let a and b be any two integers. So let a and b be two any integers. And strictly b is greater than 0. So b is a positive integer. Then there exist a unique integers q and r. See here, I said you in my previous videos also, then plays a vital role in every each and every theorem. See here, before then, all this statement is given. And after then, so we need to be proved. So we have to prove. See here, then there exist unique. So you have to prove even uniqueness also. Integers Q and R. So Q is the quotient and R is the reminder such that A is equal to BQ plus R. 0 less than or equal to r less than b. I'll show you how we got this equation. See here, for example, if you take 7, if you divide with the 5. See here, 5 1 is 5 and 2 is the reminder. If anybody asks your 7 back, so if anybody asks your 7 back, what you will do? So you will multiply these two, 5 into 1 and you will add, a, add up this reminder as 2. That is, for getting 7, what you will do? 5 1 is 5 plus 2. See, clear? And now, if you observe properly, this reminder has two properties. So, either it is 0 or it should be strictly less than this value 5 or else. So, see here, this is 0 less than or equal to 2. This is less than 5. So, this is the property for this reminder as it should be strictly less than. If it's equal to 5, so it will be divided for one more time and therefore so it should be strictly less than this 5. So likewise if you come to this R theorem so here A is equal to BQ plus R we got. So here clearly B divides A with Q as a quotient and R as a reminder. So if anybody asks your A back so if anybody asks your A back what you will do? So A will get by multiplying BQ and after adding this reminder See here, A is equal to BQ plus R. This is how we got A is equal to BQ plus R when A divides. A is divided by B. And therefore, here there is a rule that for a reminder. So, reminder should be either 0 or it should be strictly less than this B. Strictly less than this B or else it will be divided for one more time. So, you got the statement. Let A and B are any two integers and B should be positive. Then, there exist unique integers. Q and R such that so A value is equal to this is BQ plus R and R value see here 0 less than or equal to R less than B. So you understand this division algorithm and next one for the proof of this consider the infinite series of the multiples of B namely minus 2B, minus B, 0, B, 2B and so on. Clearly A is equal to BQ or a lies between the consecutive multiples of QB and Q plus 1 into B. I'll show you and I'll give you an example, best example so that you can understand this one. So if you understand this one, this will be very, very easy. So small division, with small division I'll tell you. See 5, if I divide with 5, so this will be 5 1 so 5 and 2 is the reminder. Everybody knows this one. So, if I want a reminder as 0, then I will take 10. Then this will be 5 2 is a 10. So, this is 0. Clear? So, with this example, I will tell you. So, here if I take all the multiples. So, according to our problem, so we have to compare. So, after comparing this one. So, here B divides A with Q as a quotient and R as a reminder. So, here I took B value as 5 and A value as See here, an A value is 7. So here, B value is 5 and A value is equal to 10 here. 10 here. So now I'll compare this one. So if I want R is equal to 0, if I want R is equal to 0, so I took 
as uh, I took a value as 10. So if I, uh, if I need r value, so I took, for example, I took it is as 7. So here I should take all the multiples. So here, what are the multiples here? Multiples of b. So here the multiples of b are nothing but minus 2b. So this is minus 2b, minus b, 0, b, 2b and so on. So what is our b value here? So b value is nothing but 5 here. So this is 2 into 5, minus 5, 0. See here, this is 1 into 5 multiples. So this is minus 1 into 5. So this value is 2 into 5 and so on. So here I am explaining with an example. So these are all the multiples. So if you observe properly, what is our a value? So a is equal to big Q. So here, what is our a value here? First of all, if I take a is equal to 10 here. So if I take a is equal to 10, as I need uh, r is equal to 0. So where is the 10 value? The 10 value is here. So a can be expressed as 2 into 5. So now a can be expressed as this is bq. So a can be expressed as this is b into q. Clear? And next one, multiple of multiple of 5. So this is multiple of 5. So if you want a reminder, so if I take reminder as 2, if I want a reminder as 2 here, then what is our a value? So a value is equal to 7. Now where is 7 among these? Among these, so this is minus 10, this is minus 5, 0, this is 5 and this is 10. So in between these two, so there is 7. So here if you see, so what is this value? This value is, if I multiply, so this is minus 10, so this is minus 5, 0, this is 5, this is 10 and so on. So 7 is in between these two. So in between these two. So this is, this is of the form 1 into 5. So this is of the form 1 into 5. This is of the form 2 into 5. So if I compare with this, a value lies between. So A value lies between these two. So this value lies between. See here. This is QB. So take the multiple of B. QB. And this is Q plus 1 into B. If I want a reminder. So A lies between the consecutive multiples of 5. So if I want the reminder as 0. So it is strictly a multiple of B. See here, there are two concepts for A. So A is either the multiple of B or A lies between the consecutive multiples. See here, 1 into 5, 2 into 5. If you take uh, 1 as Q, this is Q plus 1. So this is Q plus 1. If Q is equal to 1, this is Q plus 1. It is a multiple of 5. See here, if you see this example and if you uh, understand, definitely it is very easy. So if I want the remainder as 0, so 10. So 10 is clear the, clearly the multiple of B. And next one, if I want the remainder, then see here, it is 7. 7, it is in between. See here, 7 is in between the consecutive multiples of 5. And here, when talking about A, it is in between the consecutive multiples of B. So this is Q and this is Q plus 1. So there are two conditions here. And therefore, the, uh, this is what it is uh, shown here. Consider the infinite series of multiples as minus 2B, minus B, 0, B, 2B and so on. Clearly, if you need R is equal to 0, so A can be expressed as the multiples of Q. If you want a reminder, then A lies in between the consecutive multiples of B. See here, that is what it is, uh, it is uh, shown here. A is equal to one of the multiples of B. See here, this uh, equation is explained here. A is equal to one of the multiples of B, say QB. Or A lies between, see here, A lies between two consecutive multiples of QB and Q plus 1 into B. So here is the condition for A. So in either case, see here, A is equal to QB or A lies between QB and Q plus 1 into B. So here, if I multiply with QB, so this will be QB plus B. So if I multiply throughout the equation with minus QB, see here, this is minus QB, this is minus QB and this is minus QB. So both got cancelled and here both got cancelled and what remained? This is 0 less than or equal to A minus BQ less than or equal to B. And let us suppose that A minus BQ value is equal to R. Then what happens to this A? A value is equal to this is BQ plus R. And as you know that our reminder should be either 0 or it should be strictly less than B. 
So this proves the existence of two integers q and r. So if you see, if you observe properly, then we got our uh, theorem that is a is equal to bq plus r where 0 less than or equal to r less than b. So this is what it is asked to show that in the theorem that a is equal to bq plus r 0 less than or equal to r less than b. So is it not very simple here? The statement is also very simple. Let a and b are two integers and b is a positive number. Then there exist a unique integers q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r where r is either 0 or r is either strictly less than b. See here, consider the infinite series of multiples of b. So these are the series of multiples of b as we divide with b. So I have taken the multiples of b. Clearly, a is, if r is equal to 0 is the case, a is, can be expressed as a is equal to bq. So if you need a reminder, then a lies between the two consecutive multiples of b. See here, these are the two sentences which I have explained these two equations. So in either case, so a lies between qb and q plus 1 into b. So if I mul uh, if I subtract minus qb throughout the equation, so inequality, then 0 less than or equal to a minus bq less than b. So if I take this value as r, then a is equal to bq plus r and r is less than or equal to b less than b. And this proves the existence of two integers q and r. So here there is an another concept that we have to show the uniqueness. So the uniqueness is also very, very important. So what is uniqueness? Uniqueness means we have to take two Q's, two quotients and two reminders and we have to explain that they both are same and they have um, only one uh, quotient and one reminder for any division. See here for that I'll, I'll show you to prove the uniqueness of Q and R. Let us assume that A can be expressed in the given form in two ways. So what are these ways? A is equal to Q and B plus r1 see here a can be expressed as so a if divided by b1 b so we got q1 as a quotient and r1 so in the first case so if you want your a back so a is equal to b q1 plus r1 and r1 is strictly less than b and see if a is divided by b so we take the another quotient q2 with reminder r2 and again the same concept according to our theorem so a is equal to bq2 plus r2 aq bq2 plus r2 so i have considered the two quotients and two reminders where r1 and r2 less than b r1 and r2 less than b and see here for some integer q1 r1 q2 and r2 See here, if you see these three equations, so the a value is same as these two and I am equating these two. That is q1b plus r1 is equal to, this is q2b plus r2. So if I bring this r2 to this side and uh, bq1 to other side, so if I take b common, this will be q2 minus q1. So clearly here b divides r1 minus r2. So which is a contradiction? So b cannot divide the remainder. See here, as I said you, R1 should be less than B. If it is equal, B divides again R1. So, it should be strictly less than. So, here also, uh, I have uh, told you an example. That is, it is 5. 5 ones are 5. So, this is 2. And see, 2 is less than 5. So, 2 can never divide 5 here. And therefore, here, if you see, R1 can never divide B1 and R2 can never divide B. So, this subtraction also cannot divide. So, B cannot divide. So, this 5 cannot divide this 2 and therefore, R1 minus R2. So, this is not a proper thing that B doesn't divide R1 minus R2, which is a contradiction. Why we got a contradiction? So, since we have assumed the two equations, that is, a is equal to q1 b plus r1 and a is equal to q2 q2 b plus r2. So we have to consider this as a single term. So q1 and q2 if they are not equal so we got a contradiction. So we have to assume that they are in equal quantities. So r1 is equal to r2 and q1 is equal to q2 because we got a contradiction when we supposed that q1 not equal to q2 and r1 not equal to r2 
therefore we have to suppose that they both are equal and q and r are unique hence the theorem so what is the theorem here so again let a and b so here a and b are the two integers and b is positive then there exists a unique there exists a unique quotient and unique remainder such that a is equal to bq plus r where r should be strictly less than 0 or uh, less than or equal to 0 or strictly less than b. So this is the division algorithm. So if you understand each and every step, definitely it will be very easy for you to go through all the problems in the number theory and uh, I hope that you are watching the most useful video and I'll be continuing with many more videos and almost ready uh, with another uh, video to be uploaded and look at that video also that is also very important and my well ordering principle is also very well the concept is very very important in the number theory please watch the playlist definitely so many videos are uploaded for your preparation and definitely you will be benefited pass it on to your friends prepare and score more and uh, so be one of the subscriber of this channel i really deserve it thank you so much